Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Indie Spotlight. My name is Bear. Today we are going to be playing Growing Pains by Smudge Cat Games. That almost rhymes. I love that. Uh, it is a uh, fast and furious platformer, according to the developers. It's got very psychedelic graphics, and oh my goodness, Dysfunctional just subscribed to the channel as well. Thank you so much, Dysfunctional, for the sub. Welcome, welcome, my friend, to the Bear Pile, as we're starting off with the Indie Spotlight here. Of course, we are doing this live. If you're watching on the uh, YouTube edition, we are doing this live on twitch.tv slash BearTaffy. So that very well may pop up, and of course, I appreciate that a lot. Dysfunctional, thank you so much for that. Growing Pains is available to download on the Xbox as well as on Steam. You can get it for a five bucks right now on Steam, which is totally worth your while, in my opinion. Uh, there's just a very basic options menu here. Of course, you can go to uh, full screen or just a, a 1280 by 720 screen resolution as I've got right now for my windowed mode. Links to other games that they've made, which actually it's uh, very convenient to go to these as well. And there's a little bit of credits down there, which is uh, basically everything, as it'll say here, just about everything done by Mr. David Johnston. Let's go ahead and jump into the game now, and I can show you guys what this is all about. So there's nine levels to choose from. Well, there's a tutorial as well, but you don't really need it. You can kind of just jump in and figure things out as you go. Uh, but there are nine levels to choose from, and there are three difficulty levels assigned to each level. So you can play on a bronze, a silver, or a gold difficulty for every single stage, which uh, more or less just adds uh, new obstacles to, uh, to deal with as you're playing through the game. So I'll go ahead and start off on the bronze difficulty just to give you guys a good idea of what's going on. So this is the main game here. As you can see, you have your lives counter up on the top left there. You have your kind of a uh, progress ticker on the top right in the form of that circle. And you have your power meter on the top middle of the uh, of the screen right now. Uh, I just ignored the riot dingo dude basically is how that went down for the chat there. Uh, I am uh, going to go ahead and press start and show you guys what's going on. So uh, the controls are pretty simple. Of course, you just control them. I'm just using the Xbox 360 controller right now. I'm pretty damn sure you can just use a keyboard as well. What you're looking to do is gather all of the uh, rainbow rectangles. I just realized those actually are rainbow rectangles and I kind of enjoy calling them that. Uh, you're gathering all the rainbow rectangles in the area before you grow too large to explore the rest of the area. And I felt like that was a really awesome mechanic that uh, works quite well. So you're able to uh, actually stop your growth. As you can see, we're getting bigger and bigger. If we go back here and look at the level that we just completed, it looks a lot smaller now that we're going into the C territory, and we just went through that A one. Remember how small we were, oh, but moments ago, and now we have uh, grown into something much greater. Yeah, I, uh, I really enjoy the mechanic, though, just in general. I think it's a great idea. Your character is just continuously growing and growing and growing, and you have to collect all the pieces that allow you to unlock the door to go to the next section before you grow too big to even stay in that area. Shit, yeah, this man knows how to deal with chat, <laughs> absolutely. And yeah, again, you can click the uh, link provided by Moobot if you type exclamation spotlight in the chat, or if you're uh, watching on YouTube, you can click the link down in the description below. Check out the game on Steam for five bucks. It's got a very psychedelic feel to it. The, uh, the graphics, unfortunately, I think I've heard tell that uh, a lot of people are honestly struggling to play this game just due to the uh, the graphics kind of giving them a bit of a headache you know a bit of a weird reaction to the to the color palette which I'm pretty uh, sympathetic to it, it, it does get kind of overwhelming sometimes in fact one of my minor gripes with the game as I've been playing it for a little while here is I uh, I'm starting to realize that I'm having trouble just like discerning my character from the background a majority of the time and obviously that has to do with the fact that I am much smaller at the moment than the than the game or than I should be in this particular room and uh, it's not you know that big of a concern but it is something worth mentioning so the power bar in the top middle you're probably wondering what that's for what I can do here is uh, actually stop my growth by holding down the left trigger and I can do that as long as I have power in that power meter I haven't actually found that it's necessary to do yet but it is an option to to, uh, to choose if you so desire, and it uh, can certainly help you out of a tight spot if you needed to if you need to stop your growth and allow yourself more time to gather the collectibles. Uh, you can also, with the right trigger, encourage your growth, which is a weird word choice. But you can uh, you can accelerate your growth with the right trigger if you want to be able to navigate the level a bit more quickly. Say if you're going for like a faster time on the leaderboard, sometimes it does benefit you actually to uh, encourage the growth of your character and uh, allow you to move around more quickly 
and ascend the obstacles in a more pristine manner. So that's a cool little feature as well. And uh, of course you're seeing that I'm now filling out the uh, top right thing, the little progress wheel, as, we, uh, as we're moving through these last few sections of the game. You probably have noticed as well there's the, uh, the jumping mechanic that allows you to A, slide along the walls and just wall jump as much as you damn well please. But you can also jump higher by way of uh, timing your jump properly like I did just then to, uh, to time it with the, uh, the growth, or not the growth of your character, but rather the, uh, the landing as you fall down. So like, for example, right there, I can only jump this high normally, but if I were to time it like that, I can jump all the way up to the ceiling. So there's quite a few different things playing a role in your ability to, uh, to play the game quickly. Uh, as you can see, the uh, leaderboard is actually fairly competitive. What they're doing right now, in fact, uh, to celebrate their Steam release, all players that play the game can win, win a free copy of their previous game, Gateways, if you happen to get to the top of any of the leaderboards available. So if you were to pick this game up right now and uh, get super good at it, you could also have the opportunity to earn another free game, which is pretty awesome. Have you played this game before? <laughs> Your eyes already hurt. Yeah, I've heard that as a pretty common complaint, Laceus, and I, or Laceus, rather, and I would not be surprised if that were unfortunately the case for a lot of people. I'll go ahead and show you guys the uh, the differences between the dif difficulty levels here. So we just saw that level on the bronze difficulty. Let's go ahead and try that on gold. It actually does get fairly difficult, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a second here. Uh, they just add more obstacles, basically, which of course changes the level dramatically. And uh, it, it it serves to add more of a you know of a stressor to the fact that you are growing and you are very much on a uh, time limit here, assuming you don't want to like waste a bunch of lives early on. And I'm actually going to go ahead and encourage growth here for a little bit just so I can uh, scale up that wall a little bit more quickly. But yeah, you do have to be uh, very conscious of quite a few different things. For example, that was a really dumb way to die, but. It does get quite difficult. I mean, like I'm sure a lot of people are pleasantly set or pleasantly surprised by that. The fact that the difficulty does scale up quite well and uh, it can provide you quite a bit of a challenge if you're somebody looking to. Uh, oh my goodness, that was a an incredibly stupid way to die. Jeez, Silver Knight Master SBS, welcome guys. These indie spotlights here. Yeah, time here, playing some growing pains. Yeah, this is the. Uh, oh my goodness, that that laser beam is not fun to deal with, especially because there's not really a way to. Uh, get around it. Of course, uh, something that some of the people on the top of the leaderboards actually abuse is the fact that you can kind of quick reset your uh, your growth and also your progress through a particular part of a stage by dying. And you can actually like kind of use your life strategically that way. The difficulty scales up. Did you get that? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. Finally. <laughs> I was hoping someone would. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty awesome that there are uh, quite a few different mechanics to being able to run the game at a uh, rapid pace. And uh, if you're interested in uh, being competitive, interested in uh, another game that you could potentially learn speed running strats for, this very well could be right up your alley. Of course, uh, anybody that's just looking for a casual platforming experience, the bronze level or the bronze difficulty levels, I think, do provide that quite well. And uh, it's just overall a pretty solid game. The controls feel pretty tight. It can get slippery in uh, certain circumstances. Oh my god, I just realized I completely missed this section up here. It can get kind of slippery in certain circumstances. I uh, I know of a few instances in particular where I uh, felt as though I was uh, slipping off of platforms a lot more often than I thought I should be, and that more than likely had something to do with my, uh, my rapid growth as opposed to my inability to uh, maneuver correctly with the controls, but... Could be uh, many contributing factors there as well, but it does feel good. It feels good to play. The wall jumping feels uh, pretty precise. The controls themselves feel decent enough, and uh, there's uh, I've never really had an issue where I thought the game like kind of cheated me out of being able to move a specific way just because of the uh, the control scheme. So I pleasantly satisfied in that respect. I just died on the gold level difficulty, so I'm uh, I am uh, sucking it up right now. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move over to level two just so I can show you guys a bit more. You, you've basically got the gist of it now that we've uh, gone through level one there in a couple of difficulty settings. And uh, there's n again, there's nine total stages with three difficulty levels each, so pretty much a uh, total of 27 levels to play. And uh, again, at five dollars, if you were one of those people who goes, you know, by like by the time invested to monetary uh, gain or not gain rather, but a uh, monetary expense 
value, then uh, you probably will have a pretty easy time justifying the purchase. I don't know if I can even make it over this thing. There we go. Yeah, I think it's uh, totally worthwhile. Again, this is Growing Pains made by uh, Smudged Cat Games. Team that has made, uh, well, I guess not really a team. It's more along the lines of just one dude, but uh, we've made a few other games in the past as well. This one's actually available for, I believe, a dollar on the uh, Xbox 360 Indie Games page or something like that. So, if you're interested in picking it up there as well, it might be uh, it might be a better option for you. It's totally up to you, of course. No bear hug, please. <laughs> no bear hugs, please. Just subscribe to the channel, which is very confusing to me, but I will oblige by that and instead say a hearty welcome to the bear pile, my friend. Mr. No Bear Hugs, please. Appreciate that support a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, I think I just... Yep, totally just screwed myself over there. I thought maybe I could get away with just kind of like jumping over the spikes there, but... Yeah, uh, again, uh, another thing I should mention too is the fact that you just noticed maybe the, uh, the hitboxes feel very precise as well, so... Uh, I never feel like cheated thinking that like I shouldn't be hit by something when I clearly should have been. Oh my god, this part is actually kind of ridiculous right now. Ridiculous. God damn. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat this level. Holy shit. So yeah, it gets tough. It gets really difficult. And I uh, I recommend it, actually. It's, uh, it's a good time. Again, the uh, the color scheme may throw off a few people. The uh, The entirety of the game is like very psychedelic, very crazy. Uh, it actually also has a leaderboard playback feature, which I thought was fantastic. Like, similar to the thing that shows up in uh, Trials, in the Trials series. So if you've ever seen that, if you want to, like, watch, for example, uh, Smudge Cat play their own game and see how well they did it, you can actually watch the top players on the leaderboard play the level and you can see how they fared and see how you can improve your own run. So, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome feature, and as you can see there, he's actually uh, abusing the accelerated growth feature to be able to move more quickly, as I mentioned before. Confirmed harder than a thousand one spikes, yeah, absolutely. That is not a bear hug, yes, indeed. So yeah, there it is. Can't really think of anything else I want to tell you about it, but uh, that is uh, that is the game in a nutshell. So if this looks like something up your alley, again, click that uh, link down in the description below. If you're checking it out on YouTube.com slash BearTaffy, we're watching live on Twitch.tv slash BearTaffy. Moobot will give you that info as well. Thanks for hanging out on the uh, BearTaffy live show today, guys. This has been Growing Pains. This has been the Indie Spotlight, and my name is Bear. I'll see you next time.